I'm going to show you now how to import a CSV file. It's a comma separated file that has been exported from MP3 tag. And here is a file from MP3 tag. A CSV means comma separated file. Why it's CSV? I don't know. But this was exported from MP3 tag and I'm going to open it with uh, EditPad Lite. And here's what it looks like on the inside. Uh, this one only has about five songs in it. But it has the title in the first field, then the artist, track year, and some other things. And it, uh, the fields are separated by the semicolon there. And MP3 tag will always export the data file in exactly the same format. So you have a CSV file that you want to import from MP3 tag. Now here's the thing that you're going to need. This and we will send this to you for free. We've already made this. Just make it, you know, send a request and I'll send it to you. This is what we call an IDF file. That is an import definition file. You don't want to open that with anything except Music One. Here's and, and the thing to do if you're going to do this over and over is to put this into your Music One folder so you'll always know where it is. But here's how it'll work. I want to do an import from. Um, track list. We open import from track list, then open the file menu, select open, and negotiate to where your IDF file is. In this case, mine's on my desktop. There it is. We select the IDF file and click open. Now then, we have to tell it which file to import. So we click browse, and we'll have to change this to all files, star dot star, and negotiate to the folder where the mp3 tag file is, which is right there. Select it and open it. Now it's set to go. When I click import, it will import all the files. That was only five files processed. Now before I get out of here, I'm going to show you, this is what the IDF file is. This is the definition. Uh, and it tells it how to read these files. So when I click on a real song, it shows me the title in the title field, the artist, and it has two for the cart field because MP3 tag sends out the drive path in one field and then the file name in another field. So that's what's inside the guy. So after we've done the import, we can close this and save changes, yes, and save changes, yes, and yes, and new songs will have come into the new songs category. Here's what I just imported. Drive, drive path file. This is the most important field, of course. And the reason it's pink here is because I don't actually have this file on my computer. This is the Music One player. Um, and if there's a drive path in the on the computer that Music One's internal auditioning uh, player cannot find, then it turns pink. But this is, this is all correct because this goes to this radio station's uh, correct location to find that particular file. And that's it. If you import one of these files, it will also do some parsing. Uh, anything that Music One believes is a non-music item like a jingle or something like that, it will put into, um, it will put into uh, the new tracks.